Welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at the use of flaps and how flaps affect the attitude of the aircraft. So one of the, mo well, the most important thing that we uh, need to remember with flaps is to make sure that our airspeed is inside the white arc on our airspeed indicator. As if we can see, our needle is just inside our white arc so we are now inside our flap operating range. So down here is our flap lever for our Cessna 172. And I just want you to notice the change in our attitude when we take our first stage of flap. So as I take the first stage, we can see the aircraft is starting to pitch up. And over here, we can see that our flap has actually lowered. So our nose pitched up because of the extra lift and now because we're creating more drag, our airspeed's reducing and our nose is pitched back down again. And we can see if we left our attitude where it was that our airspeed has reduced uh, down to 80 knots. Uh, so if we take our second stage of flap, our nose is pitching up due to the extra lift being generated we're also creating more drag, so our nose comes back down. And our airspeed is now down to 70 knots. As we take our third stage of flap, again, our nose will pitch up because of the extra lift. Uh, as that, uh, since we're also creating more drag, the nose comes back down, and our airspeed is reduced back to roughly back to 70 knots. So if we were to try and maintain our strain level flight with our three stages of flap, uh, we're just going to have to increase our power, bring our power back to, increase our power up to roughly 2,200, 2,300. Getting the aircraft trimmed. If we look outside, our cockpit window, we can see that our attitude has improved greatly. And if we can sort of zoom into our little window here, we have a much uh, better forward visibility because of our three stages of flap. So when we retract our flaps, we want to be retracting our flaps one stage at a time. So when we retract our flaps, because we're getting rid of, we're losing all that extra lift, the aircraft is going to have that sinking feeling. So we can anticipate that by applying just a little bit of back pressure just to keep the nose in <coughs> relatively in the strain and level attitude. So we'll have a look at it again when we get rid of our another stage of flap. Our nose is starting to pitch down. We can stop that just with a little bit of back pressure and we can still maintain our straight level attitude. Getting rid of our third stage of flap, trying to anticipate that sink. And all the while, as we've been retracting our flaps, our airspeed is starting to increase. We're now passing 85 knots, and the aircraft is trying to climb. So the only time that we really want to be <coughs> using our flaps is on final approach. And that's uh, because it's giving us the extra lift, and more importantly, it's giving us better forward visibility for our uh, landing, landing runway. So we can now uh, see our touchdown point. So here endeth the lesson, and let's go flying.